Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah wa nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruhu wa nu'minu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyi'ati a'malina man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lah wa man yudlilhu fala hadiya lah wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعه إلى يوم الدين وبعد قال الله تعالى بعد عوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات أولئك هم خير البرية جزاؤهم عند ربهم جنات عدن تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عن ذلك لمن خشي ربه فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إن من أفضل الأعمال أن يدخل السرور على وجه أخيك أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم حميدا ومصليا ومتوكلا على الله وبعد. respected brothers and elders, we thank Allah سبحانه وتعالى for yet blessing us with this opportunity to come today and this blessed and sacred day of Jumaa to perform our salat al Jumaa. I hope and pray Allah سبحانه وتعالى accept our coming. And may Allah reward us graciously, generously, bountifully, both in dunya and in akhirah. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Many of you may have heard this name before. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal was one of the great imams among the four imams, among the four great imams. During the last days of his life, he used to make a dua. And this dua that he used to make was for a specific individual. He used to make this dua for a specific person, for a specific individual. What was that dua? Ghafar Allahu Abu Haytham. Rahim Allahu Abu Haytham. O oh Allah, forgive Abu Haytham. The name of this individual was Abu Haytham. O oh Allah, forgive Abu Haytham. O oh Allah, have mercy on Abu Haytham. So one day, his son asked him, O oh Dad, I have heard you continuously making this dua for this individual. I don't know who this individual is. I have never seen him before. But he has this privilege that you are making constantly and consciously this dua for him. Who is this person? Who is Abu Haytham? Your dua for him, may Allah forgive him, may Allah have mercy on him. The father now is telling the son. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal is now replying to his son. He said, Oh my son, when I was in prison, during the last days of his life, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, in those days, he, had the, he went against the ruler of the time. He went against the ruler of the time and because of that he was imprisoned. So, 
when he was imprisoned, every day he used to be trashed and flogged. That was the punishment in those days. Every day, a prisoner would be flogged and trashed. And this would be done in public. They would take them out in public and beat them. So one day before Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal was about to go in public to be beaten, Abu, Abu Haytham said to him, Aren't you the great Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal? He said, Yes, I am ah Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. So Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal said, Who are you? Who are you? He said, I am Abu Haytham. I am the talk of the town. I am an alcoholic. What kind of a person, hear what kind of a person Abu Haytham was. And what kind of dua he was getting from Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. He said, I am the talk of the town. I am an alcoholic. I am a thief. I committed all sorts of crime. And I have been beaten and lashed many times. But listen, I did not change. What Abu Haytham is saying, I did not change. Man, criminal, beaten, did all sorts of crime, beaten every day for his crime. And he's saying, I did not change. I stayed loyal to the desires of shaitan for the greed of a few dollars of this world. This is what Abu Haytham says. And now he's telling Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, he said, I am advising you one thing. I ask you, you should not give up the disobedience of Allah for the multiple pleasures of the Akhirah and Jinnatul Firdaus. You are now going to be beaten, right? But listen to me, I did not give up following shaitan. You should not give up obeying Allah and for the pleasures of Akhirah and Jannatul Firdaus. After that, whenever Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal used to be tortured, he would remember these words of Abu Haytham. And these words would bring comfort to him and would lift his spirit. These words would lift the spirit of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and he would, it, these words would make his torture bearable. Abu Haytham was an evil person who did all sorts of evil. But his words of encouragement to Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal at that moment and at that time lifted the spirit of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Now, many people during this trial time that we all are going through, many people are down, their spirits are low, they might be going through some type of difficulty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with a tongue. This tongue can encourage people. This tongue can lift the spirits of people. This tongue can keep, help and heal many wombs of people. You see, our speeches are like seeds. If you plant them in people, then good words become good gardens. They become good seeds that can create gardens of hope. And a wrong word to a person, it will hurt the feeling of that person. And if that word is planted in the heart of an individual, then that could grow into thorns and can hurt people. So what do we need to do in this time, this difficult time that we all are passing through? Give lots of du'as to people. Because sometimes behind the smile of a person, Many difficulties are hidden, which he may be experiencing in his heart. Sometimes when you look at a person's face value, he may seem very happy. But the inner feeling of a person is only known by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is Allah? Alimun bidhatis sudur. 
Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what goes through this heart. Face value, a person may smile to you. A person may seem happy to you. But internally, what is going on? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. Our encouraging words may, may earn us the dua of a person, probably for the rest of our life and for the rest of his life. One encouraging word or one encouraging act you do for a person, this may earn you his du'as for your life, in, uh, your entire life to come. And his encouraging word or something that you may, may do for him, one day may bring about positive reactions in your life and probably in his life. You know, the other day on the news, many of you may have seen that there was this lady at the airport. She was making cards, small cards, writing cards, handwritten cards, and she was giving it to people who were at the airports. Why was she doing that? Just to create an ambience, just to create, just to lift the spirit of people and to, just to make them happy. And those cards were nice words that could have lifted their spirits. And that was really, really much appreciated. Who knows, by doing something like this, for someone in a difficult time, may lift the spirit of that person and may earn you and I our ticket to Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks for excuses. Lift the spirit of someone at this time. Say something good to someone. Do something good to someone without, without looking forward for any reward from them or anything from them. Do something good for someone. This may secure our Jannah insha'Allah. When you say something good to someone, Make this intention at the time of saying it or at the time of doing it. If you want to say an encouraging word to someone or do something good to someone at the time of saying it or doing it, make this intention that this is the sunnah of my Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do. He used to encourage people. He used to do things for people to lift their spirits. And if by chance we cannot say something to someone encouraging, or we cannot do something for someone encouraging, then at least, at least that what you can do is to make dua for that person, even behind his back. Make dua for him. As we know, the dua behind the, your brother's back is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer it for you first then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer it for the person who you are making the dua for say may Allah make it easy for you may Allah remove your difficulties and replace them with goodness may Allah cure you may Allah give you complete shifa and afia may Allah give you all sorts of strength that you may need in this difficult time may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be there for you and with you say these words these simple du'as may earn us the happiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Historians have written, Abu Haytham may have forgotten what he said to Imam Abu Hanbal, uh, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. He may have forgotten, he said an encouraging word to Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and he may have forgotten it. Just like we may say something to somebody and we may have forgotten it. But Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal never forgot what this man said to him. Why? Because it lifted his spirit at that time. We may forget what we say to people, but people may not forget what we may have said to them because that was the time they may have needed the most. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us the means of healing the hearts of many. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who will use our words and our actions to lift the lives of people and give them a much more meaningful life. One word from you, one action from you can be remembered for the rest of your life by someone else. By someone else. So say something good to someone, do something good to someone without looking forward for any compensation whatsoever other from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This may secure your ticket insha'Allah one day to Jannah. بارك الله لنا ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعنا وإياكم بالآيات وذكر الحكيم إنه تعالى جواد كريم ملك بر رؤوف رحيم فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم
Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd Qala Allahu ta'ala mukhbira wa amira Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-nabiyya ayuhal ladhina amanu Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa habibina wa shafi'ina wa maulana muhammadin wa barik wa sallim Wa ala khulafai al-rashidin al-mahdiyin wa dhuwana Allah ta'ala alay majma'in Wa ala jamii sahaba wa sahabiyat wa dhuwana Allah ta'ala alay majma'in Wa ala al-mu'minin wa al-mu'minat wa al-muslimin wa al-muslimat Al-ahyai minuhum wa al-amwat innaka sami'un mujibu da'wat Ibad Allah rahimakumullah Inna Allah ya'muru bil-adli wal-ihsani وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تكفرون والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقيم الصلاة